Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy and Happy New Year everyone. This is our first podcast of the year and since it's really cold in much of the U.S. today, I'm going to talk about heating. Specifically, I'm going to talk about why having hotter supply air temperature doesn't heat your space up faster. Okay, so ASHRAE recommends that you have no more than 15 degree delta T to your supply air or your discharge air from your VAV boxes in heating. So if your space set point is 75 degrees, then you should be using 90 degrees supply air temperature during heating. So every now and then we see a VAV box schedule that says like 100 degrees or higher discharge temperature off the reheat. So let's look at how your diffuser works and see what this does. So let's say that, let's say that we have a diffuser in the ceiling. So let's say the space is 10 by 10 and you've got a diffuser in here that has a 10 foot throw. So the throw data in the catalog is isothermal. That means that the airflow coming out of the diffuser is the same temperature as the space it's discharging into. So let's say our set point is 75 in the space and we've got 75 degree air for our first condition here. The air in the diffuser is designed so that it comes through the space, rolls across the ceiling and then down the wall to mix the air from the room into the supply air to, get, to make the room comfortable. So this diffuser had a 10 foot throw, so it'll go five foot across the ceiling and five foot down. I need to make my room a little taller here. So in cooling, cold air will throw a little longer. So with 55 degrees supply air, this 10 foot diffuser throw is actually gonna be 14 foot throw in cooling. So now it's gonna come in here, go around and go down about nine foot down the wall. Now in heating, you have the opposite condition. The throw is going to shorten. So let's go to our 15 degree delta T or 90 degree supply air condition. In this case, the throw will go down to about 6.6 .6 feet. And so it's going to go down about a foot and a half down the wall. Well, let's go up 30 degree delta T. So now we're looking at 105 degree supply air. And now the throw is only five feet. So it's really just gonna come out and go to the corner. And if we go all the way up to 40 degree delta or 115 degrees, it's only gonna be about a four foot throw. So now all the air is just up here. So as you raise the supply air temperature, you shorten the throw. And so now you're not getting much mixing out of your diffuser and that's how you make the air in the space warm. So your air in your space is gonna stay colder if you put hotter and hotter air into your diffuser. All the heat is also sitting up at the ceiling, so if you have a return right here, you just have this hot air sitting at the ceiling and basically returning it out before it can mix into the room. So this is why hotter supply air temperatures in spaces with overhead diffusers is not a really good idea, so you should stick to the 15 degree de recommendation by ASHRAE. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.